Welcome back to the channel. And we got different set of interceptor owners. I'm not going to just say a specific interceptor. This goes for all interceptors. Uh, you got your, so you got the, the first group of interceptor owners you got that just want the car. Just for the reliability, the quickness, and you know, just the aggressive look of it. You know, when you buy one of these that gets they got a spotlight and a push ball or just a spotlight or dual spotlights, it looks aggressive. And you know, it makes people get out your way. You know, you you do this and you do that and little things. It's it's like you just want that aggressive look. It's just like what I did personally was I mounted this antenna on the truck, this little low profile antenna, just for the hell of it. And I put this antenna on here to cover up this screw, because it's a screw right here on the corner panel. So I put this antenna right here just to cover it up. Don't neither one of these work, you know. So it's just to cover up that screw. Uh, the second group of interceptor owners that you got is the ones that go full blown. I'm not going to say full blown, but that's going to be next. You got your other interceptor owners that go. I'm going to put a light bar in the back. Of a melt some visor lights and not hook them up, you know, just for the hell of it. Because I, I, I know some guys who did that, that just did it for the hell of it. Just like I know some guys who put some mirror beams on their cars just for the hell of it, you know, just, just to get a kick out of it. And then you got your full blown interceptor owners. My men go full blown, like they. They take the strobe lights and they hook them up. They buy lights, buy strobe, buy more strobe lights, buy visor lights, tear the interior apart to run wires through, get all their lights working. And then not only that, some of them go with a light bar, with an amber light bar. Some of them go a little illegal with it. Uh... Some of them go with light bars and shit. Uh, some of them go with cages, hard seats, all that type of shit. Some of them go real full blown with it and do, you know, shit that I wouldn't even do. And y'all saying I do a lot of crazy shit, but they do shit that I wouldn't even do with it. Cause me, that to me, that's a felony charge. You know, with my luck. I fuck around and catch a felony, and I'm not even a felon. I don't have no felonies. So I'm not trying to catch a felony. Just like you got guys that uh, go full blown with the trunk and put a, a police trunk pack in there. I'm, well, I'm not going to I'm not gonna knock that one because it really can't be seen. So I take that one back. Uh, but they be going full blown with the shit. Like, they... Lights all out throughout the car. A cage. A uh, um, hard seat. All that type of shit. Light bars. And just all that type of shit. Then throw decals on it. And be like, bro, you just fucked up the car. You just kind of fucked up the car. You know? And I'm not going to say all of them that does this are bad. But it's just you got your group of people that... You know, I know guys who got all this shit, you know, to me personally, it's not my taste, it's not my style, but they like it, but they got their shit just, I guess, you know, when they go to car shows, they light everything up, and, you know, you got your guys that go just berserk with a laptop, radar, all that type of shit. Like, bruh. How much police equipment do you need to buy for a car? Like, it's one guy right now. He got a 98 Vic. He got so many fucking lights on it. I'm trying to figure out when the fuck the car gonna blow the fuck up. Like, his rockers all rusted and all that shit. Shocks busted. 
But this motherfucker got at least four grand worth of lights on a 98 Crown Vic that's not even worth 1500 So I'm trying to figure out when the fuck is the car going to blow, blow the fuck up. Because how much lights can that car take now? It's a, what, 22-year-old car? How many lights can it take? But uh, I catch y'all in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe.